Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Aerodaction X Reborn, which is a 718 RSPS. Now this RSPS has a ton of features, so let's go ahead and start with the home area. Alright, so as you can see you have this melee dummy right here, which is actually a mini game, so you have to go, um, you can start, but you can only do it once every 12 hours. I already did it earlier to test, so I have to wait 4 more hours like, until I can do it again. But you get yourself some, um, what's it called, soul points, I think, um, or invasion tokens. And um, then you can go up to the leaderboards, check who has the most damage dealt. Um, of course, I'm not on the top list for a way, very long time. But um, yeah, as you can see here, you have a bunch of shops as well at the home area, where you can buy basically everything you need, trivia, armor, um, all these other really cool items, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool But you can also go to the teleports and um, if you want to go to the shops You can click on here as well and you'll be teleported to another location which also has all the shops So um, yeah, that's pretty nice as well as you can see PK shop recolor shop woodcutting mining general um, Reduction seals and character shop um, Which is um, with the reduction points so as you can see you can get yourself some um, Dragon Claws, Celtics, or all the, all the other cool items here. Now besides the stars, you can also train yourself some thieving up here, and you can also check the Grim Reaper for rewards, as you can see. Um, you can buy yourself some stuff here with boss slayer points, so that's pretty nice. You can get the ob obliteration weapons right here. You also can get some dice and focus sight and hex crest, which you can then use for um, the slayer mask. So yeah, that's super nice as well. Now you also have two really cool things here. You have the Cosmetic Manager, which basically gives you an override over the armor you already have. Um, you can apply any of these outfits if you have done the requirements for it. Of course, I have not done any of the requirements because I don't have... Um, well, I, this isn't my account, obviously. Um, and then right here you have Sindrid, and if you have over 5 billion total experience, you can get this armor. Now, this, of course, is more of an endgame end game armor, but as you can see, it looks super awesome. Um, right here you have an altar to train yourself some prayer. You have a chest that you can open with the crystal keys. You also have a chest right here that you can open um, for the, uh, if you have a slayer. Uh, helm part key my bad now right here you have a few bankers but you also have this extra banker for if your bank space is full you can buy yourself an extra bank for 10 billion cash so yeah it's quite expensive but definitely worth it you can also trade here um to get yourself some summoning ingredients and then of course infuse the pouches there these are the PKing teleports where you can go to you can go to edgeville mage bank green dragons and the chaos temple here you can get yourself a slayer task, so yeah, that's pretty nice as well. And then you can buy yourself some construction supplies there. Also, there is a very cool system right here with the rank lander. Now, I have the max rank, but for example, um, if I wanted to um, land out a rank, I could do that right there. Um, for example, um, land a rank right here, my bad. Um, I am already landing one of the ranks I have for 19 hours and 43 minutes left. But um, yeah, you can basically set it so you can land out your donator rank and you will be able to make money with it. So I just got 100 mil cash just from landing out a rank. So yeah, that's super nice. There is also the mysterious cape right here where you can get quite a lot of stuff. You can get the skiller cape. Um, and as you can look, uh, if you see the requirements, you just need uh, all the skills 99, so I can actually buy this one for 2 million GP. You can also get a max cape, I already have that. For the skiller master, you need 200 mil XP and all these skills, but that cape does look really cool. You can also buy the 200 mil master cape, which of course requires more skills, um, 200 mil plus experience and then you can also buy the completion cape if you have done all the requirements, which I haven't of course. And then of course the other two which is the 10 bill XP cape and as you can see that one looks dope and the amulet of completion but of course I do not have that um, also for the 10 bill XP cape you need 400 mil XP in all skills but the master skiller cape looks decent as well. Now they also have uh, three quests which are in a custom interface so that looks really cool however I'm not going to go over them real quick I am just going to show that they have them I will go over some more teleports so you have the training locations but yeah those are basically uh, standard training locations you also have the mini games like clan wars battles fight caves and fight pits but you also have the boss locations as you can see there are quite a lot of bosses that you can go to 
Um, of course, then there are the donator teleports, so I will go to all the donator zones because I have all the donator ranks. But as you can see, there is a special place where you can go to all the um, te uh, boss teleports right here. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, every single um, boss right here has a portal. For example, if I want to go to the regular boss portal, uh, I just... Uh, enter the boss room and then I'll be teleported to the boss itself so yeah that's pretty nice as well as you can see right here he is and then you'll have to go ahead and kill him now I'll just go over all the donator zones real quick so you have the regular donator zone right here where you have the bank chest you also have some costumes you can buy here just for that fashion scape um, then you can buy some runes you can also check out the pets right here um, you can buy these for one GP each but these aren't really that special you can also check the donator potions, so you have overloads and stuff here, so that's pretty nice. And then the donator shop right here, where you can basically buy yourself some Torva for 65 mil, um, imbued berserk ring, and all these other really cool items. Next up, we arrive at the extreme donator zone. Now, as you can see, there are extreme donator shops right here, um, where you can buy yourself some skilling supplies. For example, these dragon hatchets for 55,000 each. But also, you can buy yourself some of these onyxes right here which can then be sold for uh, way more in uh, to actual players so um, yeah that's pretty nice as well now besides those you also have training um, husbands husbands my bad you can pick pocket tees for TV experience of course but you can also kill them for for some loot um, also what you have right here is the gem stall now you can keep on thieving from this gem stall what this is is basically a stall where you get double loot each time and it is next to a bank so it's super nice and super fast experience anyways moving on to the super donator teleport so as you can see right here this is um, pretty small to be honest but you have the man right here uh, which you can then go ahead and check this super shop where you can actually buy some cool pets But you need pet tokens for the from these now, the way you get those is actually by going to teleports and going to the super dragons um, You can just enter the boss room without having to go to an instance But once you are here you can kill all these super dragons these give the bones and also the um, the pet tokens now you can grind out 1000 pet tokens for the pets pretty fast um, however, I will do some kill some so I can get the bones and again show you guys that you can also make some money with them. So if you kill the um, super dragons, you can add them right here into the hopper. Then you can just grind the bones and then you can convert them into experience or um, oh, I already have a, a bone inside the bin. So you can exper uh, claim experience or money or you can sp uh, get spell power, but you need to complete the quest. Uh, the elite chapter 3 for this option uh, so you get 5 mil if you convert one point bone so that's actually quite nice as well now going to the highest donator rank which is the um, Aridactor rank as you can see you get teleported to this zone with a bunch of bank boots but the most important one here is the Aridactor itself so if you go to this you can actually check the shop right here where you can buy yourself some obsidian armor but you need enchanted obsidian shards from these um, but you also have a bunch of teleports like the Brutal Dragons, you have the Jet and the Obsidian Champion. So the Brutal Dragons actually give the uh, Aerodactyl Bones, which then can be converted to even more than um, more experience and money than the uh, Super Bones. But you can also get an Enchanting Potion, I guess. Um, but you need 100 bones to get that so um, yeah, let me just get the money real quick So let's convert one bone and you actually get 15 mil for these bones So this is super great money now of course besides all those teleports You still have killing locations dungeon and cave teleports for slayer and dungeoneering and pvp tokens So let's go ahead and go to there real quick So as you can see you will be teleported to an enchanted ice titan spot where you can kill all these to get some of these tokens so um, yeah, of course you have you will have to grind quite a lot But as you can see there is also a currency pouch where you can actually check how many 100 mil tickets you have How many invasion tokens, vote tickets and redacted seals you have And then you have the regular money pouch where you can store all your cash Now besides that there are a bunch of other features that you can come and do on this server as well That I just can't go over all in one video So I definitely suggest you guys to check out the server for yourself also tomorrow I will be uploading a money making guide on the server so you guys get the first sights of how you can make a lot of bank on the server and how you can be, grow to be one of the better players on here. 
Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.